what's the risk to both parties and the president? With me now, Democratic strategist Jessica Ehrlich mm -hmm. and GOP strategist Amanda Mackey. Amanda, uh, give us a read on where this might be going. Well, look, I think it should come as no surprise that the president is upset that there's all this money being spent on foreign aid, um, you know, and even to the Kennedy Center, a second round of $40 million in stimulus to the Kennedy Center. Uh, so, you know, he's upset, and rightfully so. He believes that the number should be higher than 600, as do most Americans. But here's where I think really people should be angered by is the governors and the, and the mayors throughout the country who are Democrats who have crushed their economies. That's why we're in this predicament where we have to have these large stimulus bills again. Look at the state of Florida. You know, our governor has done an incredible job of keeping our economy open. We can uh, walk and chew gum at the same time. But New York, Washington, D.C., California, the fifth largest economy in the world, have all been decimated. Right. And so we do have to bring, uh, you know, much needed relief to Main Street. Um, but this is largely as a result of Democratic governors and mayors failing their people. Yeah, we are where we are. I mean, the MTA in New York City alone wants $4 billion out of that. But, you know, perhaps less draconian measures wouldn't have lessened that amount. Jessica, uh, it's really interesting because this is where I, you're getting a, a, an odd bipartisan roar of approval for President Trump, at least standing up and saying 600 is woefully low, particularly in, in one of the largest spending bills in the history of mankind. I mean, certainly, I think. $600 is too low for Americans right at this point. Um, I think most Americans agree with that. I think most Democrats agree with that. Unfortunately, no one asked me. The person they did ask while they were negotiating this bill over the last six months is President Trump. So to have a move at this point where the idea of $600 came from Secretary Mnuchin, that was what they had proposed. It's been negotiated back and forth repeatedly. It's a giant omnibus spending bill, as Amanda well knows, which is why all of these other spending measures are in there, because the government itself has not been funded. It was all postponed and tied together in one package, which is why well, we're looking at a possible respect, not only though. government shutdown, but general economy right. shutdown, frankly, for the American people if it doesn't right. get passed. So to have a last minute Jessica, Christmas with, Eve with, veto with, with, over saying $2,000, why wasn't it said prior to the election, the well, president said, the American people should have $2,000. Democrats could have gotten behind it. Yeah. Republicans could have gotten behind it. But at this point, it's not going to. And you're seeing a lot of pushback from President Republicans Trump asked the for $1,200. I, I saw many reports of things like the Washington Post, where there was talk of him asking for $2,000. I saw him offer $1.8 trillion before the election, and your party turned it down to help ensure that he would lose. They put politics over the American people. So I say pox on both houses. Now, the idea that somehow, oh, it's no no big deal because this is an omnibus budget. No, I, I accuse Congress of pushing this large gargantuan, the second largest spending bill in history, pumping in all kinds of pet projects like gender studies in Pakistan and using the pain and suffering of the American public as a reason. It was all blocking. They used the pain and suffering to block and then they pushed through this ugly thing behind it and now they're saying, well, the president waited too late. It's never too late. We're talking about it right now and Amanda, I think Republican law Makers need to figure this out because their voters aren't happy either. They're not, and rightfully so. I mean, again, to your point, the Pakistan gender studies, uh, when people are suffering here at home, no one wants to see that. And any member of Congress who supports this deserves to not be reelected. And so, very much to your point, I think cut this pork spending uh, that's going to countries, uh, you know, Cambodia. And uh, Pakistan, and you know all the all the pork that uh, we've been hearing about in this bill. It's shameful. It really is. But look, Main Street needs help. Uh, we have to help, and uh, I think that Congress needs to get its act together to see what they can do. Right. But at the end of the day, Congress is in its cool. own fiefdom. There is a hundred members of the Senate, four hundred thirty-five members in the House, and they have to agree on something. That can come forward, and well, that bill that now point. is getting sent to the and president. And they already so did. I mean, Charles, I point, know that you're to a very point, conservative person who to, doesn't to like that, spending. To that point, but this bill at no, this to, point is only hurting the American people. Well, let me ask you, Jessica, please, and I only have uh, have less than a minute, so please kind of be concise, but. Uh, could there be time and room for a compromise, maybe getting back to $1,200 in direct uh, checks to, to American households? 
Well, they actually are going to be voting on Monday on $2,000. The problem is getting it out of the House. The House and Senate already passed it, and it's already come not only from Senator Blunt, but from McConnell and from Thune, in the Republicans leading the Senate, the data already agreed to the bill. They want the bill as it is, $600. They don't want any more. They don't want to increase spending. And that their projects and foreign um, aid, as Senator Blunt said, are in there and have been approved. So it's throwing chaos yeah. into this. And the problem is that well, the measures that are there to help small businesses, Americans across this country, to get them the help they need, $600 is obviously not sufficient. It's a drop in the bucket, but it's going to make a difference to somebody this Christmas. And the longer we wait to get them that aid, the and, worse it's going to be. And we need to postpone. We need to postpone some of those pet projects. There's no way you cannot squeeze in an extra 1,200 bucks in a 2.3 trillion dollar overall package. There's absolutely no way. There's so much junk yeah. in there, so much unnecessary junk in there that they better figure it out. Ladies, thank you both very much. Really appreciate it. So from the